Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of modeling division. This is standard 4.4e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 12, which is a new item type called drag and drop, the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got a drag and drop here, and let's take a look at this, because sometimes the drag and drop, you notice how I've got this first one, 625 times 5, it can only go in the first answer, All right? So not every single one of these options can go in, you see how it's blue? That can also go only in the first answer, same with that one, same with that one. It's these four last ones can go, so really it's just two multiple choice because there's only four options that can go in the first, four options that can go in the second. So that's going to be good to know. So let's uh, get both answers uh, in here, because if we just try to answer with one, right, it is going to say you have not answered everything correctly. So let's get both points. We've got Mr. Hansen. What are we doing with Mr. Hansen? Mr. Hansen picked... 625 apples. Now here's one thing to keep in mind. This, when he picked 625 apples, look at how that's phrased. That sounds like the total to me. And that's going to make a difference as to how we draw our strip diagram, right? So he picked 625 apples. He put apples into five containers. All right, so he's putting them into groups. So this is what I'm thinking already, right? I'm thinking that we've got, however you draw your strip diagram, right? You always put your total up on top. Sometimes people do it uh, like that line. Some people, sometimes people end up drawing like a bar like this. Either one works, right? You're going to put 625 because that's the total. That's how many apples he picked. Now, he put the apples into five containers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to break this up underneath these parts, right? This is like a part, part, whole. Break them up into five equal sections. Don't know if I'm going to get them perfectly even, but there's my five sections, right? So there's my 625, whether you want to use the line or the bar, that's fine. And I've got them in five sections. Each container has the same number. So look at this right here, same number. When you're talking about each container has the same number, they always have to tell you this because you don't want one with 600 and another one with two. We're dealing with equal groups. And they always have to tell you equal groups if we are doing multiplication or division. So whenever you see equal groups, some key words for equal groups would be each or the same number, or the same number in each group, or sometimes they'll just say equal groups. We're dealing with multiplication or division, because you need equal groups for that. So we need to create an equation that could be used to show how many apples are in each container. Well, I've got 625, and they're in five containers. Okay, so I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to split it evenly into these five, but you know what? I need to do the work, right? It's going to be 5 into 625, but I need my answer. So let's go ahead and get that quotient here, right? So remember, we divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Divide first. 5 goes into 6 one time. We're going to multiply. Times 5 is 5. Subtract. That's 1. Check to make sure 1 is smaller than 5. That's good. When we bring down, we just do one digit at a time. So now we're just going to look at the 2, make it a 12. Divide again. 5 goes into 12 twice. 2 times 5, 10. Subtract. 12 minus 10 is 2. Check. Is 2 smaller than 5? Yes. Bring down the 5. Let's finish it out. 5 goes into 25. 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25. Look at that. Nice and even. Subtract. There's no remainder. Nothing left to bring down. So what I need here is I need, what did I do? I did 625. I divided that by 5. And then that equaled 125. That is my division that represents my equation that represents this division problem. 